February 2nd, we look to Punxsutawney Phil, the prognosticators of prognosticators, to predict the second half of winter. But why do we do that? Let's raise that weather IQ. The tradition roots back to old Germany. Originally, Germans used European badgers to forecast weather during the midpoint of winter. When they settled in Pennsylvania, groundhogs became the new weather prophets. Fun fact, groundhogs are also known as woodchucks or whistle pigs because of the sounds they make. Before we called it Groundhog Day, February 2nd was known as Candlemas Day. As the folklore goes, if Candlemas be fair and bright, winter will have another flight. If Candlemas bring clouds and rain, winter won't come again. Here's how it works. On a sunny day, if Phil sees his shadow, we're in for six more weeks of winter. The idea is that if it's a nice day on the midpoint of winter, it will only get worse for the second half. On a cloudy, snowy, or rainy day, an animal likely won't see his shadow and spring might be just around the corner, since the weather is ideal only going to get better. This strategy has not proven to be successful. Phil, no, not this Phil, this Phil has not been a meteorological genius. Since 1887, he's only been right around 40% of the time, typically predicting more winter than spring. While there are hundreds of local groundhogs across the United States, Punxsutawney Phil remains the most famous despite his average. Wishing you a happy Groundhog Day brought to us by two Phils, a meteorologist, Chris Mulcahy.